Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. Hope you guys are doing good today. So, we have to talk about this situation that's going viral all over social media. And as a boy's mom, it definitely pisses me off. So if you guys don't know, there's a young man, he's a streamer. And let me be honest with you, I've never seen this guy before. Um, you know, again, I'm a little bit older, so I'm not into the streamers. The only ones I really know is Kai Sinat and then the crazy white boy. I forget his name. But um, there's another guy here. His name is Ty Ty James. And so a video went viral of him. He's in a room. There's a bunch of little kids there. Um, I guess his homeboys are there. But then Michael Rainey's there. Michael Rainey is a well-known um, actor. We all know Michael Rainey Jr. Um, from the show Power. He was also in Power Book 2, um, Ghost. And so he's a very popular actor. And so he decided to go on stream with this click. And the young man, uh, Ta'il, a.k.a. Ta'tai, his sister's name is Jagi. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But as the video goes on, um, she starts grabbing on Michael Rainey. And he clearly looks very, very extremely uncomfortable. Um, Chinese Kitty's there as well. I'm not sure why she's there, but she's there also. And so the whole thing is just really disturbing. And so she's just acting now, she's grabbing him. Then she ends up saying something about a banana and that ends up being like the final straw where they put her out of the room. So I want you guys to watch these two clips. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Everybody in here has worked a job that's more than a million dollars. Y'all have never worked, y'all have never did nothing. Y'all literally have five minutes of max in here. Then y'all gotta get out, okay? Five minutes, you know how much five minutes is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, no, they, they've never worked. You think, <laughs> they've never worked a job, but they can play with us. Yo, anybody need water? Anybody need water? No, we go. Paper towels with them. Paper towels. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. 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 let us go the energy shifted and niggas just got up and left. Like, all that shit really made me, like, all those side of shit really made me feel away. Because one, when people come, this is your crib. It's about hospitality. That's, that means everything. Stop telling me to ignore it because I was trying to ignore it. Y'all dick riders was spam. Right. in relationship with Donald Trump, clip that. <laughs> My next girlfriend's going to be Kylie Jenner, clip that. We got 54,000 views. I'm doing anything for clout. I'm trying to go viral. <laughs> Let me make shit. you go viral. You got a banana? Oh! It wasn't me that was out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I can fuck up. Yo, fuck! She's not allowed back in here! Fuck! She's not allowed back in here! Shanique, Ma! Ma! You gotta get her up! Alright, so you guys just saw that clip. Now, I take a lot of things away from this. First and foremost, his sister's way too fucking comfortable. That's not her first time doing that. And I would not be surprised if she was doing that to all of those young men in the room or has done it to all of them at one point in time. Second of all, what's very bothersome is that there are little girls in the room. And one appears to be about maybe three to four years old. So now I have to question what is going on in that household where a young girl feels like it's okay to grope somebody. And then the brother's response to me was disgusting. His response was very flippant, dismissive, and almost, you know, accusing the audience of overreacting. So I want you guys to listen to what Ty Ty has to say about the situation right here. <laughs> That shit really got me really feeling the way because, bro, I be around celebrities all day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when I first started being my, my first few celebrities, don't even know I do unusual shit. No, no, no homo. Like, nothing crazy. Like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'd be trying to record, get a video, a picture, whatever. But due time, you feel what I'm saying? That shit don't really mean nothing to you. We all eat, we all the same. But she never seen somebody that caliber. But she never seen somebody that caliber. So she start. You feel what I'm saying? And that's my sister, so like I'm not gonna say nothing bad about it. I'm gonna just check and tell her like you don't gotta be on it. We all the same, we all human. If he's here for me, he's here for you.
family Sunday dinner shit every Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? I got people telling me, you got to be aware who you have around when these people come. Why should I? We all equal. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be, it's, we all got a mutual agreement and it's about respect. Shit got me dumb mad, bro. Like, we're I'm real shit. I, nothing got me, nothing ever got me more mad than this, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys just saw that video. His response was very telling. The fact that he's saying that his sister has never been around somebody that caliber, that is bullshit. I don't care if she's around Michael Jordan or Michael Rainey. You keep your hands to yourself. Now, let's say if the genders were reversed, right? Let's say Michael Rainey was groping on the sister and, you know, putting his hands up her shirt. Nobody would excuse that. He'd be ready to whoop Michael Rainey's ass. So the fact that he's trying to excuse his sister and saying, well, she's never been around that type of caliber person, to me is bullshit. That's assault, what she did. She had no business touching on his private area. And we all know that Michael Rainey's mama don't play about him, okay? That's one thing she don't do. I think that he should definitely press charges. If the genders were reversed... Everybody would be telling the girl to press charges against Michael Rainey. And a lot of people are trying to make excuses like, oh, well, he was laughing afterwards. That's called being uncomfortable. And I told you guys about my situation that happened a few years ago when I was taking a picture with some people and somebody's husband felt that it was okay to start feeling on me and grabbing my ass as we're taking the picture. And I'm literally standing between him and his wife. And if you see me in the picture, I look like I'm cringing, but trying to smile. It was extremely uncomfortable. And a lot of times you will kind of laugh to try and play stuff off because you don't even know how to mentally handle it as you're going through it. So sometimes the only thing you can do is try and laugh and play it off. I have been in this situation and this was definitely very, very triggering. This girl is trash for that. And I don't know how old this girl is. I don't know if she's a little girl. She's, you know, in her 20s. But this behavior is trash. And the way that she felt so comfortable doing that to a celebrity on camera, it wasn't like, you know, this wasn't being filmed. She knew that they were on stream. The fact that she did this lets me know that she's done this before. She gives me predator vibes. And again, people can be predators regardless of your gender, regardless of your religion, your race, any of that stuff. So I'm not feeling this at all. So now that this has gone mainstream, because he had all these excuses for his sister earlier this morning, but now that TMZ are all jumping on this story, because Michael Rainey is a pretty big celebrity, so now that the white mainstream media is jumping on this, now he wants to issue an apology, and he just issued this apology about an hour ago. So let me go ahead and read this apology for you guys. He says, after the actions that occurred during my stream last night, I would like to sincerely apologize to Michael and his family for what took place. My little sister was completely wrong and out of line. What she did was very inappropriate and unacceptable. I am truly embarrassed and disgusted by her actions. I completely respect whatever direction Michael wants to go in this situation after watching the clip. I was completely taken aback by what she's done. I will take extreme precautions with future streams to avoid similar issues. I have banned her from participating in future streams. I do not condone any type of assault. So that is what he just wrote. Um, he's clearly trying to distance himself and walk himself back from this situation because now the backlash is starting to get bigger and it's all over Twitter. And to me, it still comes off as very, very insincere because this should have been your response initially. It shouldn't have been, oh, well, you know, my sister's never been around that type of caliber. That is BS. This should have been your response initially. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And the fact that you were trying to defend this foolishness and that you saw nothing wrong with it initially lets me know that either your PR team got on your ass or you're scared to lose your money and your connections. But this is not the same energy you had initially. And this is just insane. And I'm not blaming Ty Ty because like I said, I've never watched this young man. So I'm not blaming him for his sister's actions. What I am blaming him is for his reaction. Because for every action, there's a reaction. And his initial reaction to the situation was not okay. Because I can bet you if the genders were reversed and this was done to his sister, he'd be ready to fight. So the fact that he had all these excuses for his sister to me does not sit well with me. The fact that this took place in front of small children does not sit well with me. Because now it makes me feel like, well, what is actually going on in the household that you guys are not bothered initially right off the rip when it comes to sexual assault? 
I mean, you could see he clearly looked uncomfortable and this is not okay. And a lot of young men go through this, you know? So like I said, as a boy's mom, this is very disturbing to me where a lot of young girls think they can put their hands on guys and, you know, behave towards them very, very sexually and grab their junk and it's supposed to be okay. But again, if the genders were reversed and this is a guy grabbing on the girl's boobs or ass, it's off with his head. Nobody should be touching anybody, male or female. Keep your hands to yourself. Unwanted touch is not okay. So she needs to check herself and her behavior needs to be checked. And honestly, I feel like Michael Rainey should press charges on her because again, if the genders were reversed, people would be telling her to press charges ASAP. So that's my personal opinion on the situation. His apology, while I do feel like it may be heartfelt, I also think it's a bit too late um, because your initial response said a lot without saying a lot. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, tea sippers. I wanna know y'all's opinion on this disturbing situation. How do y'all feel about this? And do you agree with me that if the genders were reversed, nobody would be making excuses for this young girl. Nobody would be talking about, oh, she's just happy because it's a celebrity. If the genders were reversed, Michael Rainey would be catching hell right now. So I want to hear from you guys. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show.